Hello everybody, my name is Starupner, welcome to my spoiler-free review for Zack Snyder's Justice League. I never would have thought I would have actually said that. In 2017, we had Justice League by Joss Whedon, but now we get to see Zack Snyder's vision fulfilled in this four-hour epic movie streaming now on HBO Max. So this is going to go a little bit differently than I normally do my reviews, because in this one, I'm going to be talking about really the differences, what I like in this 2021 version versus the 2017 version. So starting off with the characters, it was a lot of stuff to take in in the 2017 version because there was only two hours to bring in brand new characters like The Flash and Aquaman and Cyborg. And now having more room to breathe, there's entirely new scenes with uh, Barry Allen. There's some different scenes with Aquaman, especially a lot more with Cyborg. And it does flesh out the characters and make more sense for what they are doing in the grand scheme of things. And the same thing can be applied to Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf was one of the biggest missteps, I believe, in 2017's Justice League. First off, the character animation in 2017 did not look great at all. And his motivations were the most like mustache, trilling, generic villain you can kind of get it in an uh, action comic book movie. And in this, we have Zack Snyder that gives him uh, more of a tragic fall because we actually see that he has a um, a person he reports to named Darkseid, who is this bigger character that's looming in the distance that we know is going to come into play eventually. So getting to see him pull the strings, kind of like what Emperor does with Darth Vader, really felt like it, it, it nailed it in this one. It made the threat more present we see the threat going up against several times we get to see his point of view um him you know calling into his superior stuff like that um also all the stuff um with, with the different mother boxes getting to see where all that's coming into play i would say the overall vision of Zack Snyder's Justice League is a lot more grand. We're going to see a lot more things playing out. It just felt like it was a much bigger uh, movie in that regard. If you compare the 2017 version to the 2021 version, just looking at some of the same scenes, they are done with like a different filter on the camera, as you can see, or in post-editing, production, whatever. So it does more fall into uh, Zack Snyder's other DC films, such as Man of Steel and, of course, uh, Batman v superman especially the ultimate edition this movie in fact picks up directly after the aftermath of what happens in ultimate edition so this does almost feel like a trilogy now with man of steel and bvs and now justice league uh from the snyder cut even though this is a really really long movie i do appreciate that they split it up into parts so yes as it's streaming you can go ahead and pause this thing whenever you want i watched in generally one more one sitting i took a break about halfway through right at one of the parts that it breaks into um so that's nice how they split it into uh, chapters like that and there's so much teasing of what's to come next it really just gets you to think I'm sure there's going to be a lot of awesome fan theories coming out of experience in this movie, finally. Um, some minor nitpicks I will say is, yes, of course, I talked about how it being four hours long. Uh, maybe at one point this was going to be like a part one and part two, and if it was going to be released theatrically, that would be definitely something I would critique it more on. But since it's streaming, anybody can pause this and get up and watch it whenever they want. So I don't consider that that big of a of a negative for me. I will say the thing that popped up uh, right away, as you'll notice, is the aspect ratio. So Zack Snyder originally wanted this to be an IMAX, but yet knows it's only going to be on HBO Max, at least in the United States. So I'm not sure what the thought process is to still have it in that format. If it's not going to be in the films, I would have liked to seen some kind of option, but uh, you know, that's how it's filmed. So that's what we have to deal with is the black bars on um, the sides of the, the image there. Also, some of the music choices I felt were a little bit weird at different points when they felt like um, there should be more dour kind of uh, sad moments and it's like upbeat music. So I don't know what was going on. That happened like one time, but it sort of took me out of the experience. But other than that, this is a way better movie than the 2017 Justice League. So with that being said, I'm going to give Zack Snyder's Justice League a score of a 9 out of 10. That's right. This is definitely one of the best DC movies. Definitely Zack Snyder's best work in the DCEU. And this ranks up there with Wonder Woman and Shazam and Birds of Prey for me. This is really 
getting into the good area of DC that we've been wanting to wait for as fans. And it was crazy that this movie was a movement at first, like years ago at San Diego Comic-Con, there'd be people standing out in the lines uh, with uh, hashtag uh, Snyder Cut or whatever. And then they would have billboards that they would pay for. These people out of their own pocket would be paying for these billboards and for um, the DC Universe to actually acknowledge these fans to see this going. It's one of the strangest things. And so much could have went wrong but it's amazing when you know your expectations are set at a reasonable level and they get exceeded because that's definitely what happened here. This is a movie that I think a lot of fans have been waiting for and this is definitely going to spark the conversation for, again, what's to come next because without giving anything away, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff that could happen in the future. So what do you guys think of Zack Snyder's justice league let's talk about it in the comment section down below for more movie reviews i will be doing them more regularly now that movies are coming out so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel for future videos about those that's gonna do it for me start thank you so much for watching and bye bye thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.